Foreign Secretary Vinay Mohan Quatra made a two-day visit to Bhutan. Many would imagine that a visit to a friendly country for talks is nothing out of the usual. Well, it isn't in many ways, but the timing certainly here is important. And we'll explain to you exactly why. First of all, this visit of the Foreign Secretary comes just a week after Bhutan and China held talks in Kunming in China and they spoke about pushing forward the boundary negotiations. This is a vexed issue for Bhutan and China, but this is significant for India as well. And here's why. There are lots of areas in Bhutan that are strategically important for India. For instance, let's start with Doklam. Doklam is an area that is under boundary considerations between Bhutan and China. Doklam is the same area, the Doklam Plateau that we call, is the same area where India and Chinese armies were in a standoff for two months in 2017. This area is strategically placed, what is called the western sector of the China-Bhutan boundary. And this plateau overlooks the chicken's neck, what is rather referred to as chicken's neck, a thin piece of land that joins the northeastern part of India to the rest of the country. Therefore, because it's strategically important, when Chinese army was seen in this area in Dhoklam, India moved in and therefore the face-off went for around two months in 2017. After which, just before the BRICS summit in China, this uh, entire standoff was called off. However, now with the boundary negotiations between China and Bhutan, the Doklam area once again comes into focus. And that is why it's significant and important for India to keep an eye out on what negotiations are taking place. And that's not all. Just a couple of years ago, China opened up another front in the Sakteng Sanctuary. This sanctuary is part of Bhutan, but suddenly China started staking claim to it. Why is this sanctuary important from India's perspective as well? It's in the eastern sector, in the China-Bhutan area boundary negotiations, and this borders India's Tawang sector. Why is Tawang important? Tawang is the same area where China has been playing mischief. In fact, on the 9th of December last year, there was a confrontation between the Indian and the Chinese army in this sector itself, the Tawang sector. Tawang is also that area that separates the area in Bhutan, the Sakteng Sanctuary, from China. Hence, it's strategically important as well. And this Sakteng Sanctuary, sanctuary borders Tawang, which is in Arunachal Pradesh, another sensitive area as far as the India-China boundary issue is concerned, which lies in India's eastern sector. Even as we are seeing the friction between India and China continue in the western sector in eastern Ladakh, that friction between India and China has been on since 2020. It's over two and a half years that that friction continues, but we are still seeing at least two friction points, Demchok and Depsang, continuing to be bones of contention. While there are other friction points like Pangong North and South uh, uh, shores as well as uh, other areas like Hot Spring and Gogra where we have seen de-escalation or rather disengagement. De-escalation though at the LAC has still not happened and that can only happen once there is disengagement on all the friction points. Looking at this complex situation while India is dealing on the one hand with China over the LAC issue in eastern Ladakh, the talks that are happening between Bhutan and China are certainly important for India. And that is why the timing of the Foreign Secretary's visit to Bhutan becomes important.